Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video. Uh, this is another unboxing video and it's one for the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Um, so these are movies I already own on Blu-ray. Um, the reason because about a year ago I got a 4K TV and a few months ago I got a PS5. I've slowly been upgrading my movies to be 4K. Um, it is a it is a little bit annoying that these movies do come with a Blu-ray disc as well, uh, because I own a lot of these movies. Um, in this particular case, I own all three of these on Blu-ray. So I mean, I have to throw out a disc because I can't really sell it anywhere um, that easily. So yeah, it's a little annoying for a lot of series. Um, that I've been up upgrading, but anyway, so How to Train Your Dragon, the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. This is a series that, as I've said many times, means a lot to me. Um, I really relate to Hiccup a lot, um, and just his journey and being an outsider and just being different from most people. Like, it's just one of those types of characters that I relate to, so um. We'll get into some little stories in a little bit in terms of my experience with this with this series, but um, yeah, let's just uh, get into the unboxing. So we'll go with the first one. Uh, we got a nice picture of Hiccup flying toothless. Um, I was close enough in age to Hiccup, um, like Hiccup's age in the first um How to Train Your Dragons movie, um. So that's another reason why I, I relate to him, because I kind of grew up in a way. I'm still growing. Everybody is always growing. Um, but I guess the age time frame of these movies being released and um, the character Hiccup growing too, I, I was always in a similar age as Hiccup as these movies came out. So that's one reason why I, I really relate to these movies. Um, and... Also, just you know, being alone, um, and the outcast, trying to make friends, all of that. Um, so, relate to Hiccup a lot, um, and just the he's like kind of an inventor, and I like coming up with ideas and concepts as well, um, and just seeing the world differently as well. So again, the outcast, I I, I really really enjoyed Hiccup. Um, so yeah, you guys can pause this. So, yeah, when this movie came out, um, and then here's the bonus features. So, hey, it looks like... Nope, never mind. I really don't understand... Okay, well, at least this one has a commentary in it. Why can't most 4K discs have the commentary? It doesn't really make sense. Um, I noticed that I think... How do you... How, uh, sorry, Now You See Me 2 or 1 has a director's commentary or filmmaker's commentary in the 4k disc so why can't most movies do that it's not because this is a cgi movie um so yeah i i know that it might be a size thing like a, a file size like how much the disc can actually hold but i don't know it feels like they just don't want to put bonus features on 4k movies sometimes um here's the bonus features for the blu-ray disc but yeah, so, one second. Okay, and it looks like the Blu-ray disc is the same ones that I have already. Um, this is fine. I like this artwork here for the 4K one. I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, just a Hiccup's journey as a whole. I really, really enjoy it. Um, so, I don't really remember when the movie came out. My initial reactions, it was one that I really enjoyed though, and I wanted to see it more, but I don't think I could, in theaters at least. Um, I do remember though that I did watch it, and I just really related to Hiccup, like I explained, and I just loved the story that they were telling, and you know, the even the voice actor for Hiccup, he's been in so many movies that I really liked, um, so it just... I, I now remember like oh I know that voice which doesn't happen very often um so it just really captivated me in so many ways I, I do remember that and 
Actually, now that I'm thinking, I might be remember seeing it in theaters, but I can't be certain <laughs> right now. But um, so anyway, <laughs> this was one that I don't have too much memory of when I first saw it, um, other than my thoughts and feelings after watching it. Um, so yeah, I might have seen it in theaters for the first time, I might not, but I definitely do think I saw it in theaters. Um, but I can't be 100% on that one. Now, the other two, though, I 100% did see it in theaters. Those I do remember. So, with How to Train Your Dragon 2, in particular, was a very interesting scenario. Um, so, here we go. So, um, just letting you guys read that. And this one was a really fun movie. And then here's all of the bonus features. So, yeah, you guys can pause it. But this one was a very fun movie, um, and I loved that they brought um, Hiccup's mom, and I loved that it was darker than the first one too, and a lot more mature. And I remember I was back in my home country, and we were in a different state for vacation, and I was there with my cousin, my mom, and my uncle. Um, and I was just not <laughs> in a good attitude. I was, um, really annoyed, um, and I just kind of wanted to be alone, but I, and I knew that How to Train Your Dragon 2 was playing, and again, we were in a different state from, it wasn't our state, um, so we were just there for vacation, and, um, we were at the hotel, and then I decided, you know, like, I know that the mall is literally like 10 minutes walking from this hotel and the movie theater is in there. So, you know what? I really want to see this movie. I kind of just don't want to be around people right now. I just kind of, I'm not in a good mood. So I'm just going to go see the movie. And, you know, we kind of, I was kind of like having an argument in a way, but not uh, actually arguing. Because when I say argument, because like my cousin wanted to do one thing and uh, my mom and my uncle wanted to go somewhere else. Um... But I'm just like, I just want to go to the movie and see this, so you guys just do whatever. I'm not in a good mood anyway, so I went and I watched How to Train Your Dragon 2 in the theaters. And it did lighten me up a little bit, and just seeing Hiccup with his mom, and, you know, things that happens in this movie, it, it was really, really sad. Um, but I did really enjoy it. Um, it's a little bit hard to say if I enjoyed it more than the first one. But I did enjoy it a lot, especially because of everything that came, you know, like, like in the story, like how everything came up towards the ending of that story. It's just fantastic. Um, so here we have, I really like this artwork. It does look like a cheap video game artwork, though, but I love it. I really, really do. Um, and then this one's pretty cool, too. So I, I like that it matches the, you know, the color scheme. Um, pretty well. Now, How to Train Your Dragon 3, or How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World, this one's my favorite. This one, every time I watch it, I cry. Um, so, so we got, you know, Hiccup, Toothless, The Light Fury, and these little dragons. Ah, oh, this movie's so beautiful. And the 3D for it, I'm remembering that now. Wow, the 3D for it was so good. So, so good. Um, I was actually just talking with one of my co-workers and because the new Avatar movie trailer just released and Avatar is one of my all-time period movies and so I've literally been waiting half my life for Avatar 2. So when I first saw that trailer with the Doctor Strange movie, I was almost crying um, because it's so beautiful and I saw it in 3D and honestly, the 3D for Avatar 2, just the trailer was honestly so much better than the 3D for all of Doctor Strange movie um but we were talking about like the 3D element the other day and um oh yeah like Avatar had such amazing 3D I still remember the 3D and how amazing it was and how it captivated me but then I brought up oh yeah and then there was another movie uh Spy Kids 3 when that was originally out in theaters I actually remember going there and like watching it in 3D um, and just seeing all of the things like literally coming out at you and like I remember reaching out because like it it was so well done so 
I, I was talking to my coworker and I'm like, yeah, Avatar and Spy Kids 3 were probably the best like 3D implemented in a movie that I've seen. But I can't believe I, co- I completely forgot about How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden Roll, because the 3D for this was so beautiful as well. Um, so yeah, the, the, the 3D for it was just amazing. Um, but I actually do remember watching this, and um, I went into the theaters by myself. I tend to watch movies alone a lot, but um, so I, I went and I watched it here in the U.S., and I was just completely amazed and shocked. Um, here we go, The Friendship of a Lifetime. And I just really loved how... Oh, cool. So see, look, this one has all Blu-ray bonus features in 4K resolutions. Why can't the 4K discs put these bonus features? I really don't understand it. Uh, but yeah, so here's um, the, the bonus features, basically. But yeah, this, when I saw it, I was alone. And I was just, like, super, super excited because these movies really mean a lot to me. Um, for some of the reasons I explained, and a couple other reasons too, and I was just blown away by it. It was dark, it was sad, it was beautiful and hopeful, and it was super funny. I still love the hiccup scene, trying to impress the light fairy. <laughs> that scene was amazing. Um, and, you know, hiccup being my age as well was really phenomenal, and, um, it, and I was just so happy to see him trying to like be himself and grow and and it was just so well done um and then I even remembered you know after that I saw it you know my mom wanted to spend some time with me so I'm like well let's go watch a movie so um I took her to see uh, I took my mom to see How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World and um, she's like, oh, I remember this, like, the other movies, the other movies, you love these movies so much. I'm like, yeah, this is the last one. And she's like, oh, okay, why is it the last one? I'm like, you'll see, mom. Um, and she even had such an amazing time watching in the theaters, and um, she just loved it, and she just thought it was a beautiful ending as well. And she doesn't even really remember the plot of these, she just remembers Hiccup and Toothless and me really, really enjoying the movie so much. Um, but when she just saw it, she's like, this story is so mature and, like, so real, and, and she, she just fell in love, like, she really, really enjoyed that movie and really enjoyed it a lot, especially the ending, so every time I see that ending, I cry, (laughs) um, it's kind of similar to the movie Logan, where I cry throughout the movie, but in, in terms of How to Train a Dragon, that final arc, where Hiccup has to say goodbye to um, Toothless, and like I start crying there, and then the the fast forward sorry the fast forward scene where with with Hiccup being much older, um, still pretty young but much older, and with his kids and going to see Toothless, and then we see Toothless kids, then I cry too because it's just so beautiful, um, and you kind of get the feeling like this is the last time these two friends are seeing each other and they kind of know you know and i get a little emotional right now as i say that so um it's just yeah how to train your dragon 3 is 100 percent my favorite of uh the the trilogy um don't really like this disc for the blu-ray don't know why they couldn't have done like something white maybe for the light fairy i don't know um but the 4k disc at least matches kind of like those Um, so it's not bad, but, uh, and there goes my phone, one second, sorry about that, I'm back, um, but yeah, I I just really love these movies and how they show life and real concepts and real struggles and real situations, and we basically just see Hiccup you know, not because uh, he's still really young at the end of Hidden World. You know, he, I think he's like 22 or something here. Um, so he, he's still, again, really, really young. So so he still has a lot to grow. But then at the end of this one, we see him in his like 
maybe 28, 30, something like that. Oh, and the wedding scene as well was so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so we see him a little bit older at the end. So we literally like get to see most of his whole life. And it's just a beautiful story. Um, so it, it's one of those things, kind of like with Toy Story, where the movies grow with the audience. But in this case, the movie literally grows with the audience because Hiccup is growing with you. Um, or at least in my case, me. Um, so it's just... So for them to do that and then implement his growing process with each of these movies, you know, like being acknowledged and accepted as himself, losing a father, but understanding what it's like to have a mother and, you know, learning responsibility and the sacrifices that come with that and being loved, you know, and allowing yourself to be yourself and then finally learning to start your life. Or, or you know, say bye to you know your friends and, um, you know the things that come in life later on, such as marriage and kids and you know not for everybody, but you know for a lot of people. Um, and like being you know the captain of, you know your town basically, you know like the she the chief of your town and the responsibility that comes with that and. Uh, like all of these things and also like not being sure if you're the right fit for that role and if you're doing the right choices like it's all like perfectly captured in these movies so these movies really mean a lot to me for those reasons again and a couple other reasons as well which i'm not gonna get into but um it's just a fantastic series it's truly truly fantastic I really hope you guys have seen these movies. If not, definitely watch it. Um, you know, and it's made by DreamWorks as well, which um, also made Shrek, which is another series I really, really love. But as much as I love Shrek, I love Shrek for a different reason. I love How to Train Your Dragon because I relate to How, how to Train Your Dragon um, and how human and real it is. And same thing, like, I love Toy Story, even though that's a Pixar movie. But I love it for a different reason, but a little bit more similar to why I love How to Train Your Dragon, which I talked a little bit about in my um, Toy Story Quadrology unboxing video, um, which is, again, kind of similar to the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Um, the Madagascar movies are amazing and super fun, and I love them for an another reason. Um, so... the these are movies that, you know, are really special and important to me because they just mean a lot, you know, and I really wish more movies nowadays does things like this, does take a risk and tell a different story, but unfortunately, not a lot of movies are. So hopefully they do make a, a new How to Train Your Dragon. I don't mean like How to Train Your Dragon. I mean like, you know, a, a different movie that becomes the next How to Train Your Dragon, basically. You know, like how it became the next Toy Story, how it became, you know, the next Shrek, things like that. Like, the next big movie that will captivate me in this way, and many other people as well, because I do know a lot of people do relate to Hiccup and Toothless as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully they can make something like, that captures this magic, basically, um, soon, you know? So with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which of the three you like more. Um, and uh, do you guys have any memories watching the How to Train Your Dragon series? And if you do, just let me know. Um, with all that said, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.